of working, like working on range, and then and then Seth overheard her talking, and then Seth said, "Hey, give her one of my cards." And I had he handed uh, his card to her. Right. And he was yeah, you can reach Hell through the rock shop here. I'm always here, you know. Hell's always around between Hollywood and Riverside, but we don't know where he is, so you can leave a message with me. I'll get I see him every day, but he's in Hollywood. So, uh, and then so she goes, okay, I'll keep in touch. Uh, she goes, I want you to blow his fucking head off with a shotgun. Really? And I'll supply the gun and everything. And I go, okay. <laughs> and she goes, I can depend on you, right? I go, yeah. And then she got back to the limo. And then <laughs> I thought she was kidding. Yeah. And I go back inside and I go, did you hear that? And, and, because there's no one in the store hardly, I think there's one other guy that's in there. And then, uh, Seth goes, yeah. He goes, fucking A, she wants you to kill Kurt Cobain? And I go, yeah. And he goes, for 50 grand? And I go, yeah. And they go, what a fucking crazy nutty bitch, man. And he goes, she's high. You know, and I go, yeah, she must be high. And then I said, well, I'm going on tour, and we were like in St. Louis, and all of a sudden, the, the owner of the club gets up on the microphone and says, Hey, I got some news. I don't know if it's good or bad, but Kurt Cobain was found dead with his head blown off in Seattle. And I'm sitting there like, wow. Because you knew that. I had told a couple guys in my band, he didn't scum or somebody in a roadie about it. Right. And then a roadie comes up to me and says, Fuck, DJ. He goes, you think that might have been? When I got back, I told Seth and me and Seth freaked out. Uh, hey, could you call me back in a bit? I got these phone numbers from this guy. Okay. Um, anyways, what were we talking about? We were talking about Courtney.